30 but 17, is the new SBS drama that airs every Monday and Tuesday, starring Yang Shei Zhong as Gong Wu Jin and Shin Hai Sun as Wu Seo Ri. The story involves a 17-year-old girl named Seo Ri, who gets in a serious accident and falls into a coma, only to wake up 13 years later. Wu Jin, who was also involved in the accident, is traumatized and cuts himself off from society. See also, 30 but 17. Cast on their first impressions of each other, ratings promise for the hot summer, and more curious to see how the first four episodes were, here are four things we loved and two things we hated about the premiere of 30 but 17, Soompi. Display, News, English.300x250, BTF Soompi. BTF Soompi. Mobile, English.300x250, ATF1. Love, Yang Shaijong There's something about Yang Shaijong's presence on screen that makes him so intriguing and appealing to watch. This marks his return to a K-drama since his role in Degree of Love, and we're all the better for it. Although the teases and previews for this series didn't exactly show him as being the clean-cut cutie that we're used to seeing, it did still make me excited to see him in this role. When it comes to Yang Shaijong, I know that he'll be getting some amazing acting skills. His quirky character will definitely make you laugh but also relate to him at some points. When you're feeling antisocial and people are trying to start a conversation, too. Love, the cute puppy, Fang I love a good appearance from an adorable pup in K-dramas, so I'm obviously loving that our male lead has a cute dog of his own. Looking forward to seeing more of Fang in the episodes ahead. 3. Hated, the OTP having already met when they were younger now this is something that we're seeing a bit too much of it in the drama world these days. Wu Jin and Seo Ri first meet when they were in high school and are torn apart by an accident that puts Seo Ri into a coma. They meet again as grown-ups. It's a K-drama trope that has been used frequently, i.e. Come and hug me, and what's wrong with Secretary Kim, and the undateables. But really, is it necessary to have the main leads meet when they're younger? Maybe. But it's getting to be a bit boring. Hopefully it doesn't make it a break it for me to watch the rest of the series. 4. Love, Yang Shaijong's haircut seeing his face covered with all but hair was making me a bit antsy, so it's good that he decided to cut it all off. This is the Yang Shaijong we know. 5. Love, the comedy factor there are a lot of funny moments in the premiere. Although there is that accident, the comedic factor as a result of Seo Ri is pretty hilarious. Like this Choco Pie scene, and how hungry Seo Ri is, I'm appreciating the comedic aspect of this K-drama and Shin Hai Sun is doing a great job being hilarious. I never expected this role to be so humorous. If you're looking for a K-drama that's light and not too intense, then this one is off to a pretty good start. 6. Hated, the story seems too predictable already the concept of the story at first seemed to be a bit different, pet girl in a coma and a guy who has shut himself off from the world. But, it's already at the point where we know what's going to happen, here's to hoping that there will be some sort of twister hook that will make watching this series worth it because I really want to like it. Hey Soompiers, how did you like the premiere of 30 but 17? Let me know in the comments below. Binna Hearts is a Soompi writer who can lately be seen obsessing over Young Hae In, singing her heart out to Big Bang at karaoke, walking her dog, or indulging in desserts. Make sure you follow Binna Hearts on Instagram as she journeys through her latest Korean crazes. Currently watching, What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, and 30 but 17. All-time favorite dramas, Secret Garden, Goblin, Because This Is My First Life, Star In My Heart, Looking Forward To, Won Bin's Return To The Small Screen and Song Junkie's Next Drama.